you came through the Tallow uh, era as a player, and at one time, particularly during your early days, this was Tallow was hit somewhat by emigration. A lot of people left the town. Was it very hard to get a team around that time? I, it was indeed, uh, Jim Joe, but during that immigration that uh, hit myself because oh, yeah. I immigrated myself back in 1963. I was in England until 68. But one of my memories of that immigration was uh, uh, being brought back to play a match. As John mentioned again, our very near neighbours, the Shamrocks, we had a very void game. I think it was the uh, Western final. And um, Sean Sheehan was now chairman of the club. And uh, Ali Fitzgerald, if you remember Ali, a lot of Ali is no longer with us, was a fine player. And myself, we were brought home, and uh, the the novelty of the flight being brought home, well, that, that either like, was a great novelty for us, but unfortunately, I think any of the three of us <laughs> didn't have a very good game on the day, but uh, we were beaten by the Shamrocks. But uh, as I said, the immigration part of it, uh, that time, you know, I felt myself doing my best. Yes, when I should have been here doing my holding and putting You were a young man at that time. I was exactly. Yeah. But after that, you came back home. And I came back in '68, yes. And of course, you you worked in the town here with Connie Ryan. Correct, and yes. And uh, from there on, you got deeply involved. In indeed, the yes, indeed. I was chairman uh, during the '70s um, when we got our field, in particular, into a bit of shape at the time. I think um, I was chairman when we got the wall up and. Uh, the first large restaurant was built. So that was a particularly uh, satisfying period for me, as well as taking part in the games at the time. I was holding at the time, as well as being the administrator with my good friend John here. I was chairman, John was secretary, and um, we had some very, very good memories because we had some nice wins during that period as well. I think we got it, came out of the, we played Butler's Town, I think in 71 in Welsh Park, and. We were on a we were on our high at the time until a mishap happened that changed the course of the game. There was a, uh, a difference between few players and we lost our momentum and we were beaten that day. But uh, nevertheless, we came back at later stage. We won the intermediate and as you know, we went on to win the senior. Things, yeah. And uh, it was for me winning the senior in 1984. I wasn't playing, of course, but. Uh, Winning in the centennial year is something that no other team will win for another hundred years anyway, and I think that was a great victory for Tallow and uh, the town and <coughs> was for the, the whole West. Doesn't that, doesn't that really, I suppose, give you an indication of the involvement of the likes of yourself and those in the Tallow Club, insofar as that you were thrilled, as John was, for the team that won in the centenary year Indeed, in 1980. Yes. Indeed. Whereas maybe other people might be a little bit disappointed they weren't there playing with them. That's the difference, I think, between Tallow and other clubs, the difference in the spirit. Yes. You remarked uh, a short while ago, Tom, about uh, <coughs> what happened uh, around that time and with the emigration and so forth. It, it must have been a struggle to get a team together. Oh, indeed, indeed, it certainly was, yes. I have to bring three of you back home from Indeed, England. yes. No, as, um, as I say, we always had a struggle, at that time. We, we might have had 13 players, maybe 12 players, but you were always missing at least a little few. We never had, you know, a flush of subs that we could call on in that period of time. We, not, we, like we, 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 not like even, this was thinking back on uh, some of the teams today, uh, we have so many deviations of different games from our national game. It is difficult enough sometimes to... At times, at the moment. But during that period, immigration was the... Uh, the big part. Uh, uh, you know, was to be... Taking some of the players from. Exactly, yes. Now, <coughs> I, when I left Hello to go to Cork and walk, I said I made a commitment to myself that I would never again get involved in any other club and that Hello would be always my first allegiance. I was always very proud of Hello. I was proud to be secretary of the club and of all the players that went out and played. I felt I'd get out the notifications and that they were doing a good job for the executive committee of the Gaelic Athletic Association in Teletown because they had a deep commitment and a sense of pride in going out and waving to Tele Jersey. And to go along to see other matches in Cork and other teams playing, and while I'm living in the half a century in Bell's country now, uh, it's not the same to me as going to see Tele play. Right. Was there something special, John, about Tele or uh, the Tele people? From the moment that you got the notification of a competition, 
Det var Jonas Holland and Jonas Football, Intermediate Holland and Football. I was just under 16, under 14 level. It was marvellous to be part of the background people in getting that team out on the field. But you're waiting at the square here on Tallow for Kenny Lee's bus to come along and going down through your list of 20 players, making sure they were all there and that the Hullies were there and the football was there and the everything else was there and, it, you know, it was marvellous. Now, you were a young man when you were in charge of them. Still yes. are. Uh, you, you still are a young man, but you were a young man when you were in charge of them. And there were those young lads looked up to you because I can remember them doing so. Uh, most of them went on to play for their county afterwards. But they still, they had great respect, I felt. The players in town had great respect for the people in charge. There was a tremendous allegiance, all right. Um, I remember, you know, talking to people, to players who wouldn't be even on the fringe of the team, and they'd come along for you on those days. Now, it obviously, obviously has changed since then, but I remember going back in those days when Paul Tom was chairman, there was uh, secondly was Stephen John Henley was first aid officer, and various other people were involved with us then. We did, we, did, we did great harmony, commitment, and the players gave us great allegiance as well. You know, I, I felt a great sense of loyalty, uh, as we've said already, from the players. You know, from the fact whether they were under 14, and a lot of players were play, playing at that stage on my own age. Group. That's right. And uh, it was marvellous. You know, we had we, we a great friendship, and we still have that. We still have that friendship whenever we meet. Even tonight, before we came in before the interview, the people who meet outside the door, she can see him. Welcome, John. You know, it's a great sense of light is being towards you. John, what about the support? What was it that uh, you know brought the people together? The support was something special. Well, Tallow was a mad GA town, and you know, you had so many families, and you had big families in Tallow. And there were so many people from various families on the team, and there were all big families. They all came out on the day supporting that team. As you said already, you're the Hinleys, and you're the Corleys, you're the McNamara's, and you're the Sheehan's, all those, all were big families. And they, they themselves were able to bring out their own people. And that's what Hell always had a big crowd at a match. John, just turning back to you again, <coughs> it was said to me uh, many times that during that era and before and after it, that somebody could stand in the square and tell on and whistle and they'd get all the team together. That's how close they were to the whole of things. Yeah, well that's true. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd say in relation to other um, towns and parishes, I'd say um, our area was very small in relation to uh, picking a team because we had so many other teams um, around us. <coughs> we had the Shamrocks, we had Lismore, you know, we couldn't go out the road, you had uh, the Catrons. We'd know how to go, really, with Baddy Duff. So our pick was very limited in, in, in size of area. But yet, we found enough good players within that small area to win every, pr practically every title that was there to be won. The one title that has eluded us so far is the Cena football. It's the only title we haven't won in the recent era, like. And if you put your mind to it, you could have won that. Well, we got to, um, I think, we got to about two semi-finals in the Zena football. But when we didn't make the breakthrough, the football fell by the wayside. Fell by the wayside. John? We never really concentrated on football. No. And we were a crazy club to play in football. We were a dangerous club.